morning everybody we're now headed to Sunnyside Cafe which according to our awesome planet is one of the best breakfast places here in Boracay let's go Staple Kitayama beef tapa, which is a staple Filipino breakfast dish. So let's go ahead and try it. Let's see if it's good. Here we go. Really good. Vietnamese iced latte, so we're gonna try it as well. It's nice that they serve it in. in with metallic straws, which is really eco-friendly. Really good as well. Really recommend this place. We're gonna go eat. It's your uh, dish, babe. Adobo puti. Is it good? Mm. Is it good? Thank you. My wife is having a manicure in one corner here. It's just so cute. Look at that. Yeah, they can no longer do it on the. Uh, on
Everyone, we're going for a quick break. We're so tired from all the walking. So we're trying this uh, shaved ice place called Ice Flakes. And we got the mango. Okay. And we got the mango shaved ice. So let's try it, shall we? It's very, it's very flaky. And as they say, the taste or the proof is in the taste. Let's try it out. Mm. That is mango. That's really good mango. It's really smooth. It's really creamy. It's it's really delicious. I might not be able to save some for my wife. Hey guys, we're now having late lunch here at Indigo and this is located at the uh, Discovery Shores and this is one of our most favorite restaurants just because the food is simply delicious and it's happy hour so we're getting a few drinks in today. Let's go. These are wet towels and they're pretty cold. So you use it to, you know what, clean your hands. <laughs> They also give out complimentary cookies, oatmeal cookies. This is good, eh? The food is here, so I can't wait to dig in. But first, let's uh, give you a background of what it is. This is called Alamos. Or in English it's called prawns and it's cooked in butter and in garlic. Let's get some of that. Let's try it out. So let's try this out. It's a small prawn but it seems tasty. I'm so hungry. Let's try it out. Here we go. Butter is just right. The sweetness is just right. It's so tender. It's so delicious. It's really good prawns. Let's try the grilled squid now. Yay! And as usual, you're Filipino if you have a dipping sauce. This is soy sauce. Let's try it out. Let's see how this goes. That is really fresh. That is really fresh squid. Crab fat in it. So this rice is with crab fat. It's heirloom rice. They source it from local farmers so they can help the local economy. It's really good. We have to dig in now. But I highly recommend this place if you want a little bit something, you know, fancier than normal fare. This is the place to go. Let's eat. One of my favorite places to go to in Boracay would be this restaurant called Hawaiian Barbecue. They serve some really good ribs with pineapple and they serve one main spam musubi. It's really crunchy and it's really delicious. You should all
Hi everyone. So we're here now at Real Coffee. This is the home of the Calamansi Muffin. Calamansi is like a very small lime which is native in the Philippines. But now we're not going to try that because we know it's good. What we're going to try now is their newest creation. It's called a mango muffin. So this is the muffin. That's some uh, cream over there and that's mango. So we just want to try out you know, its taste, if it's delicious. Okay, so let's give it a shot, shall we? I got some brewed coffee just to balance out the sweetness, if it'll be that sweet. So let's try it now. Mm. It's quite moist. It's not too dry like uh, some other muffins. It's, uh, look at that. It's a bit moist. Mm. It's not too sweet. It's quite delicious. It's um, very light. It's not too heavy. And there's a there's a hint of mango in there. So I can say it's a pretty good um, pretty good dessert. See? Oh. That is pretty good fruit coffee. It's not overly strong. It's just the right hit of uh, the, the right hit of caffeine to wake you up. So this two work well together because this is sweet and this is a bit bitter. So they work perfectly well. So head it over to Real Coffee to try this out. See ya. Good evening. We're now here in Aria, which is an Italian restaurant here, right in front of the D Mall in Boracay. Now they serve authentic Italian cuisine. The chef and the owner are both Italian, and this place has been here for 16 years now. So we ordered the bolognese, or bolognese pasta, as well as carbonara. We also got some pizza. So today, let's try it out now. Bolognese. Let's try it. It's hot. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Carbonara. Thank you. Thank you. The um, pasta is al dente, and the 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 meat and the sausages are pretty sweet, pretty good, and the. Uh, and the tomato sauce is just right. And the parmesan, perfect. Pretty good. Now let's try the carbonara. I'm not really a big fan of cream-based pasta, but we'll give this a shot. Let's try this. Same al dente, the pasta is just perfect. It's quite delicious. It's not too creamy like normal carbonara, which is like overloaded cream, but this this is just right. I, I can eat this. <laughs> it's pretty good. Mm. 
Those pastas are delicious, cooked perfectly. Napoli. Quattro is Sagini. Sagini. Thank you. Now, this is the Quattro Sagini. So it has four different flavors in it. It has cheese, it has prosciutto, it has seafood, and it's uh, just plain old cheese. And the beautiful thing about you know the service here is that it's really fast. They serve the food so quickly. So why don't we dig into this really nice looking pizza? Let's try it out. I'm just a big fan of plain old cheese. So that's what we're going to try out. Well, let's build it. Let's try it out. Mm. The prosciutto is salty and smoky. And the cheese, this is a little bit of sweetness, and uh, the pizza itself is just really soft. It's delicious. Okay, so I leave a link uh, in the description to the addresses and locations of the places we went to. So it's just so nice to visit old favorites in, in the island, but it's also equally nice to try out new and exciting restaurants in the area. So with that, ciao!